uh, well, you are the consultant of call. The registrar has been on call over the last uh, of the last night is presenting this case. He's a 65 year um, old gentleman who had um, a total rip, a total hip replacement uh, six months ago. Um, fell downstairs down a flight of stairs uh, yesterday and uh, sustained uh, this uh, injury. Can you comment on the uh, X-rays, please? Yes, so um, uh, this is an X-ray uh, AP of the uh, uh, left hip, and you can see the obvious uh, 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 normality here is the uh, spiral fracture around uh, the uh, femoral stem, um, and I also uh, suspect some uh, loosening and some subsidence of the uh, femoral of the shoulder of the femoral uh, uh, stem. Uh, I can also see an um, uncemented uh, cup which has been fixed by two screws. I uh, don't see any signs of uh, loosening around the uh, socket. And uh, as for the polyethylene, I can see that the head is lying within the centered within the polyethylene and no signs of polyethylene wear, which you would expect after uh, only six months. Uh, that's actually quite right. So you're going to do your ward rounds. Uh, what 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 do you want to do? With, uh, how would you examine the patient, and what would you um, do for him in terms of the? I, wa I want to ask about the uh, index procedure. If uh, how his hip was uh, afterwards, if he had any pain following. I also want to ask about his activity level, um, um, comorbidities. Uh, and I want to know the mechanism of trauma. Was it a high energy one? Was it a low energy one? Um, if he had any leg length discrepancy prior to this fracture, um, um, if he had any wound problems uh, after the initial uh, surgery. So it looks like he's a, a 65 years old, uh, fit and well, no medical comorbidities, had this replacement for arthritis. And uh, he actually said that this has, has never felt uh, right. And he used to have uh, thigh pain uh, um, after he has, he's, um, he has had his um, hip replacement. So, um, what treatment would you offer him? So um, this is a, a, a Vancouver B2 uh, fracture. I would classify it as B2 as um, um, this is an unstable uh, femoral component um, given by the fracture configuration and the suspicion of substance, but also I would like to see serial x-rays to confirm that that substance has happened. Um, in terms of treatment, I would follow the Vancouver uh, 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 guidelines or the what they proposed and um, I think the only reasonable treatment here would be a, a revision with a uh, long uh, modular uh, uncemented uh, femoral stem aiming at uh, diaphyseal uh, uh, fixation. Uh, how would you plan for your surgery? What do you, uh, would you talk to the theater staff about the things that you need to prepare in, uh, in advance? Uh, talk me through how would you go through the logistics of uh, getting that patient to the theater? So I would ideally uh, book a, uh, this patient onto a weekday uh, list, uh, um, ideally half a uh, uh, day, so a full uh, session. Uh, I would also want backup from one of my senior uh, hip colleagues. Um, and I would ask for, uh, I would, after knowing what the implant he had, I would ask for um, the um, removal kit for that femoral uh, stem. I would uh, prepare um, cables uh, to fix the uh, fracture uh, prior to introduction of the new stem. I would uh, want to know uh, the socket and prepare a, a polyethylene liner, even a dual mobility liner uh, or a constrained liner if that socket supports it. I would also want to get the uh, uh, screwdriver for removal of these screws. I uh, want to get an explant to be able to remove the socket if I um, need it, if uh, removal of the socket was required. In terms of the patient himself, I would uh, want to uh, cross match him for at least two units and I would ask for a, a cell saver. 
Uh, well done. Thank you. Um, what do you think? Did I do good? Did I do bad? Uh, so I, I think your approach was um, was um, very reasonable. Um, you, the important thing is that you want to know the index procedure, which you've highlighted more than uh, once. Not only the time of the index procedure, but obviously all the operative uh, records to know what implant has um, has been used. The good point is as well, you want to see the previous radiographs, the needle post operative and the serial radiographs to see um, to see the progression of any loosening or subsidence in the you know your uh, operative uh, plan, you're familiar with uh, the most famous classification used for the, uh, for the peripathetic fracture, uh, you know what you needed to plan ahead, what you needed to prepare for uh, such uh, a big um, surgery. So yeah, on the overall, uh, you, did, uh, you did really well. Okay, good, thank you. Do you have any comments? What do you think you did? Uh, I think there was, I was disappointed that I might have not been clear in some points. So I think I should have, uh, from the beginning, mentioned the operative records, and I should have mentioned the serial radiographs early on. Uh, I've, noted, I've noticed that point later and rectified it, but it uh, should have uh, sort of fallen the same part. I think when you asked me at the beginning on, on the comment on the extra, I wasn't expecting you to ask that. I was expecting you to sort of ask about, you know, to start with my history. So, so it, it, I didn't classify that fracture early on. I don't know why I didn't. Uh, but I think I should have uh, mentioned the classification at that point. Uh, yeah, uh, I think it's just needed a bit more organization, if anything. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you.